You are the player. Atari Soft Centipede for the ColecoVision. I remember this game in the arcade. I've made a few videos on this. I've done a Atari K2600 video on this game and a Telecade. Uh, we've also, I've also done a Atari Visions episode on Centipede as well, just the podcast audio format. If you're interested to listen to that, I'll put a link down below to that podcast uh, download site where you can listen to that episode of Atari Visions. It is not safe for work. I'm warning you now, we, we do a lot of cussing in there. Eventually, I plan on making video versions of the podcast uh, when I have time. Anyway, we're, we're talking about ColecoVision in the arcade. Really like this game. Uh, it's one of my favorites. My wife absolutely loves Centipede in the arcade. She plays it quite a bit. Matter of fact, when I picked up one of those uh, mini Centipede arcade cabinets, I can't remember who makes them, um, but yeah, she commandeered it. It's gone. <laughs> But it's such a great game. You know, it's a roller controller game. And basically you're playing uh, uh, the role as an elf with a magic wand. Even though it looks like a snake head in the arcade game. It's supposed to be an elf holding a magic wand above his head. And you're storing centipedes, uh, scorpions, spiders, mushrooms, all kinds of stuff. It's a very well put together game. Some really great gameplay. Very addictive. A lot of great sound effects in it. Just an all-around great arcade game. And what's really cool is when Atari Soft brought the arcade game home to various home consoles. And one of those was, of course, this one here for the ColecoVision. Just in a plain orange box. Nothing really fancy about it at all. You do see a little bit of a picture here showing the elf with the magic wand on the back has a nice little cartoon picture. It doesn't show a gameplay screen, but it has a nice uh, little cartoon picture back here. And we have another little story. Get your bug blaster and save that fungus. The thrill of the arcade game. An insidious invasion of multiplying insects, centipedes, jumping spiders, poisonous scorpions, and frenzied fleas pose different perils to the mushroom patch. You must repeatedly blast Enraged creepers and stepperate obstacles. Remember to listen for the distinctive sounds of the attacking bugs. And watch out for that blasted centipede segments. Each one grows a new head. <laughs> ah. Of course, in the box, you know, we have the cartridge. This one has a little bit of the discoloring behind it from the glue, but it's, it's still in fairly decent shape. Basically shows the picture from the front of the box. On the back, the back labels were really bad. Can't be helped. These games are getting pretty old, so you're bound to have that happen. And of course, we have a nice little instruction manual. Looks just like the box. And it is full color. The Enchanted Forest. One glorious spring day, you hike into a dense forest that you've never been explored. Let's push deeper into the woods. The trees close up behind you, and the forest grows increasingly dark and ominous. You get a creepy feeling and decide to go back. A chill plays up and down your spine when you turn and realize you're lost. You collapse onto a flat rock beneath an enormous spreading tree and try to regain your sense of direction. A squirrel, a gray squirrel chatters at you. How do I get out of here? You sigh out loud. Pretty cool. I love it when they put stories with these games. But we have a nice full color manual. It goes through all the gameplay, talks about the different inhabitants like the the flea, the spider, the scorpion, how to use the hand controller. You got your scoring over here. Looks like the most uh, highest scoring thing here is like 900 points. Ooh. That's very game variation. Got like three different game variations. You know, easy, medium, hard. I play the willy mode easy. It's a great, it's a great looking manual. They did a good job with it. And of course, you got your warranty thing in the back. Pretty cool. Now, I'm going to be using my ugh, roller controller in this game. Now, you can use it with a joystick, but the roller controller actually works as well. 
you just gotta leave it in joystick mode and you gotta spin the ball a little bit faster than normally you would in the arcade game but it does work fairly decent now the way I'm going to power this to hook up to my Intellivent, my uh, Collector Vision Phoenix is I'm going to use the USB, the Call USB power adapter that allows you to power your ColecoVision from a USB uh, power supply. It's pretty cool. I did a video on this. I'll put a link to the video down below if you'd like to learn about this. They're kind of hard to find right now. I think there's some on eBay currently. But it's actually a really nice thing to have to power your ColecoVision. And basically all you do is you get the power adapter for the trackball right there. And then you plug in the call USB into that. And plug it into a USB power supply. Other way, dummy. There we go. And away you go. And of course you plug in the two controller ports here. One and two into the very front of your Phoenix console. Which one's two? Where's the numbers? Really can't read today. There it is. There's two. And there's one. Just like that. Now I'm ready to play Centipede on my Collector Vision Phoenix. So let's get to it. All right. Let's play some Centipede on the old Collector Vision Phoenix. Using the roller controller. Atari presents Centipede, 1983. We're going to play standard play. Now the roller controller works okay in this game. I'll leave it in joystick mode. Oh, you can't use a regular joystick to play this game. I just can't get used to the can't get used to the the inertia when you move the controller around. Yeah, there we go. But the trackball is not as responsive as the arcade or the Atari 5200. The 5200 trackball is really, really good. It's a step below that, but you know, if you, once you get used to it, it's not bad. It seems to work okay. Graphically, it's nice, a nice-looking game. Whew. I think I should put it on an easy level. Well, he's not doing too well. Scorpion, got him. Oh, freaking flea. Oh, good scorpion. Oh, they dove close to the bottom. Get that poison mushroom, it's game over for really. I like that rapid fire when you get a mushroom, it's right in the right spot. Rapid fire! <laughs> Whoa! Oh! I got centipeded. <laughs> oh man, that's a great game. Let's let's try it again. This time, let's try uh, the uh, easy easy mode. I forgot to get up to the main menu. I get the main menu. I don't remember. There we go. We'll do easy play this time. Game runs a little bit slower. Now, in theory, being on easy mode, I should do a lot better. I love the animation on the spy spider with all those little wiggly, these little wiggly legs. The Atari Soft did a pretty good job putting this on the Clay Collision. It looks pretty good. Oh yeah, that was a good one. I like that rapid fire you get when you get a mushroom in between, uh, right above you. Oh, oh, oh. oh spit on me. There we go. Ah! Oh, wiggly leg got me. Oh, we got a couple speeders. Go away, spider. Go away. Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> I should have jumped over him. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, 
Yes! Next level. Oh! Spider. Even does the animation of the mushrooms uh, filling in like the arcade. That, that's a good, that's a nice touch. Just gotta get used, just gotta get used to the roller controller. Ah, oh, I didn't even beat my high score. That was on the easy level. What the heck? Alright, let's see. Let's go back to the main screen again here. No, I didn't want to start another game. Reset. Reset. We're going to try the hard level. Watch the brutality of the hard level. Well, here we go. Hard play. Oh, jeez. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. Got by the spider. Oh, they're coming down. They're coming down. Go up. Oh, he just shot off and got me. Gosh, the flea got me. <laughs> Notice how I hit the reset button, I lost my high score. Yeah. If you turn the game off or hit the reset, you lose your, your high score. Wow. I didn't do very well at all. Now let's go ahead and plug in. Uh, let's use a controller on this instead of the trackball. And you can see the difference in trying to use a controller to play this game. Okay, we're going to do number one. Easy play. Alright, one. Dart, you, can dart, you can dart them around a lot quicker, but the precise movements are a little bit harder to do. See, there's a little bit of inertia there. See, I seem to be doing better using the controller, though. I did the trackball. Ooh! Rapid fire! Where? Spider? Let's give me some of these mushrooms. Oh, we got a couple speeders. Oh, yeah! Get the scorpion! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, coming through! Yeah! I'm doing a lot better with the, with the controller. Just had to say something. Ooh, ooh. I got fleed. Get ready, player one. Yeah, extra guy, and I lost him. got the scorpion. Oh. Mr. Hairy Legs got me. Oh, I ran right into him. I'm doing a lot better this round. Oh, yeah, that worked. Oh, come on, I had him. 14,372. That's the best I've done yet. That was with the regular controller. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, that's Centipede on the ColecoVision. Another really cool arcade translation to the ColecoVision console. As always, everyone, thanks for watching. The Player.
Charlie. Yeah, Charlie. I play on Coleco, baby. <laughs> <laughs>